Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm out here today. Uh, we have our platforms that we've been working on for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get mine done uh, with the blocking. So if you followed us, we were working on these platforms for you know a month or so. Everything was going pretty pretty well. Like we were figuring out what we were doing. But uh, we went one weekend, picked up a load of wood, went the next weekend and wood prices had more than doubled. So we kind of paused it for a little bit. We have some extra wood out here right now. I have had my joists up for a couple of months now, and some of them have gotten a little bowed out and not looking very good. So I'm gonna look at some that I might need to replace, and then I'm gonna cut up wood and start on my blocking. All right, it's probably hard to tell, but those in the very back are super bowed. Wow, what I forgot was the board's cut down. That looks a lot better. In fact, I don't even know if I'm going to replace this back, this other one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna roll with that. All right, so I guess I'm gonna start in the middle. Three quarters. Both sides. Oh yeah. Probably at its max capacity, right? I'm gonna suck that in. See if I can lift up on that. Wow, check this out. One man band. All right, so I got one side done. Pretty good, not perfect, but way more stable. For sure. And I've got my uh, battery over here charging on my Jackery because the one uh, on the uh, saw is getting kind of low. And then I'm going to do this side. So I have my string put up already. I'm going to hit that. Uh, but I'm going to go drink some water and have some lunch. I was thinking about the latest video that Devin uploaded or a video or two ago where he was talking about uh, when he found the biological family. Us, me, and how... Uh, he was worried about what I would think. It's funny, I put myself in his shoes and I think I would be upset. But, you know, he's a very logical person. Um, I think Devin does a great job of putting himself in other people's shoes and understanding um, what others might be going through and not just making assumptions and all of that. And uh, But after this last video, I was thinking about it and I was thinking about you know, this is kind of cheesy, but like the shows um, and movies that you may have seen where, yeah, someone does try to go enter into someone else's life, like be it a parent uh, that now wants to engage with a, with a kid um, or vice versa. And now I can see where he might have been coming from and thinking that I would, would think, oh, there's another kid here. Um, he's going to take attention away and things like that. And it's funny that never, ever crossed my mind so I don't know man it was crazy when I found out like you know I don't have the best memory but I definitely remember finding out and just not understanding how it could have happened in, until I realized that he had been put up prior to them even getting back together um, man kudos to the family for keeping that from me anyways man it's just it's crazy I was thinking you know I made a comment earlier when I was looking at the blocks and I'm just kind of winging it and I went and I looked at Devin and to see what he had done and while he didn't tell me you know he had his, his stuff up there he had that string still laid out and kind of showing me the way and it's funny because I remember as I was graduating high school and going into college um, Devin always offered me a lot of advice and I haven't thought about this stuff in a long time but I used to call him in college and ask for advice and then after college and ask him for advice and man he's just he's helped me out a lot along the way 
And uh, like most things in life, you know, we probably don't take enough inventory of all the great things that we have and, and the good moments. And oftentimes the, the bad moments shadow out the good. And he made a comment on that last video. He said, man, it's good to just say this stuff and like get it out there because uh, we don't often. So it's fun, you know, this whole YouTube thing, we started it because we really, we, I mean, we thought it would be kind of fun, um, but also really we just want to document it. Um, you know, the, the farm that my, our grandparents had growing up, um, they built all that stuff out there and I always wondered what it was like, you know, I'd love to have seen this. I'd love to have seen my grandfather in his younger years. So for our kids and grandkids and whatever, you know, assuming the world lasts, um, for them to be able to see this can be amazing. So, hey, <laughs> grandkids, hope you're doing great. Anyways, I'm gonna have my lunch. Devin recommended I get one of these so that I can grab it and pull. What a difference. All right, this one, for example, large gap. So, I'm gonna put this tool on here, grip it, and when I pull up on it, I'm able to pull it together. Highly recommended this tool right here. Well, I finished up everything I could. So I got one whole side over there and I finished up this left side with all the spare wood we had. So yeah, I'm almost caught up with Devin, pretty much caught up. And uh, we just need to both finish the center blocking, get the, the decking ordered, get it out here and put it on. And at that point we can put up the bell tents and this fall spend some time out here with the families, do some hunting, all that good stuff. So really excited for it. Uh, yeah, follow us along. Let's see how it goes. I flipped several boards that were warped the wrong way. So I, I'm really happy with what I got done today. I got a lot done. Um, but yeah, it is hot. So I'm taking off. So have a good one. Give us a like. Bye-bye.